all right. So, whoa, it's a bit of tension here. It's but tension, but it's excitement as well. We can't show this tension in front of our celebrity who's in the studio right now. Frankie Cocosa. -co We've got Co a real here. life interview with Frankie Cocosa right now. Um, I'd like to say that this is a completely, completely real interview. Yeah. The only slight issue, like, slight thing is the fact that he's answering questions which we're not actually asking him. <laughs> You want to stand in a second, but I I believe this. Just just Frankie Frankie Cocosa is here in the studio with us now, and we're going to be discussing some allegations, yeah, made about him. So, okay, just rumours, mind yeah. you. So, but but firstly, Frankie, you know, you've been on X Factor, you've got a lot of fame. How are you dealing with all of this fame? He hasn't sunk in. I still feel like completely normal myself. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that. That's that's a that's a normal feeling to have. I think uh, there's been rumours this week of a, of a celebrity sex tape with you and Susan Boyle. How did you feel watching this tape back? It, it was quite nerve wracking, like seeing it. It was quite scary, yeah. but once I'd like watched myself for about thirty seconds, I got used to it, and I was like, yeah, this is quite cool. Mm, interesting. You're watching yourself there uh, during the uh, sex tape, but. You know, it is Susan Boyle. She's not the best-looking woman in the world. How did you feel after the incident? Just, that, that was just like an absolute blur, though. Like, as soon as I came off, I couldn't even remember like, what it was like being up there. But Apparently, it took 12 hours to film. <laughs> and it was a long old day. Yeah. Um, yeah, we also heard that the X Factor producers had a lot of influence on this happening. They're trying to boost your, um, your bad boy image. Um, but wh why on earth did you agree to go through with it? Said if they pay for it, like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how much do they pay you? But she hasn't chucked me any money yet. Mm. <laughs> I bet it gutted. Uh, a lot of people have said how outraged they've been by this, like, but what's your response to it? In, like, if you thought that was the wrong thing to do, I'm really sorry. But when you're up there, I reckon if they had told me to like attempt a backflip, I probably would have done it. Yeah, I can understand that. I mean, uh... You know, Simon Cowell's a very persuasive man, isn't it? Uh, any final thoughts, uh, Frankie? I mean, I, f I thought it was funny, mm. like, and I hope most people watching it did, but... We oh, certainly did. Yeah, I, thought, I thought it was funny, and you know, Frankie, you've been such a great guest. Can you please come back next week for another interview? No. Oh, oh, quite right. blunt. Well, anyway, <laughs> just that was a... Our... What a lovely young man what he is. What a lovely young man. I feel bad for slating him. I think your mum should feel bad for slating him on Twitter as well. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's, very he's a really beautiful man as well. Mm. Good looking boy. Well, not really. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a bit like a. He looks like he's wearing a bear skin. I'd hat on his head. Yeah, I'd like to say that interview was obviously completely fake. No, 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 no. I hope Frankie Kokoza is out there listening. Mate, if we get sued for libel or slander, whichever one it is, you're the one. You're taking You're the one who slandered him first. I just said, "How's he doing this new thing?" There was you, no sex date with Susan Boyle. You and dived Frankie into him. <laughs>